let's, let's move on now uh, to FIFA. Uh, the reason that my mouth still tastes like a lime crawled in there and shat itself. <laughs> FIFA's leader, Sepp Blatter, has been under pressure for months now. First, the US indicted many of FIFA's top officials. Then, the Swiss opened a criminal investigation against Blatter personally. And this week, FIFA's ethics committee finally stepped in. FIFA President Sepp Blatter has been suspended for 90 days as part of an ongoing corruption investigation at football's governing body. Wait, I'm sorry. You only suspended him 90 days? That is ludicrously short. If he put a Greek yogurt in the break room fridge the day he was suspended, it could conceivably still be edible when he gets back. Although, to be fair, it will probably be gone, and I'll tell you why. Janice in accounting don't give a fuck. <laughs> but even this minor suspension was too much for Sepp Blatter, who was actually called for an investigation into the FIFA Ethics Committee investigation. <laughs> Which is basically standing up in the middle of an intervention and going, you know what? Fuck all of you. You've got a drinking problem. You've got drinking problems. I'm fine. How do you like them apples? <laughs> the problem is, Blatter's suspension leaves a vacuum at the top of FIFA. And normally you'd expect someone like Secretary General Jerome Valky or Vice President Michel Platini to help keep things steady while he's gone. However, there is a bit of a problem with that. Also suspended from all football activity are Secretary General Jerome Valke and Vice President Michel Platini, who faces questions over a $2 million payment from Blatter. Yes, it turns out they were both also suspended because of course they were. They worked under Sepp Blatter and he is the Pepe Le Pew of soccer. Boundaryless, aggressively European, and if you're anywhere near him, his stink will get all over you. Incidentally, FIFA also cannot turn to former Vice Presidents Chung Moon Joon or Jack Warner because they've been barred for six years and life, respectively. <laughs> so the current acting president of FIFA is Issa Hayatu, head of the African FIFA Confederation. And if you're thinking, good, this is the guy to clean up FIFA once and for all, there's just one extra thing you should probably know. Senior Vice President Issa Hayatu now fills in for Blatter, although he's previously faced allegations of taking a bribe from the Qatar World Cup bid. Of course he's fought allegations of his own. Of course he did. And at this point, I think it's becoming clear. If FIFA wants to find Blatter's successor within its own ranks, it'll be like finding a porter potty at a music festival. None of them are likely to be clean. So the best you're hoping for is to find the one that's the least covered in shit. <laughs> and finally tonight, finally tonight, we move on.